Yeah, we've got a lot of green on the equities screens today. Green is good. We're making some gains on the equities market. Uh, same time last week when we last did our video, we spoke about the possibility of of uh, s modest gains on the equities markets, notwithstanding the growing probabilities of a rate hike in June and July, a Fed Reserve uh, rate hike in June and July. And indeed, we showed the MXWD, which is the MSCI All Countries World Index. We spoke about how you have had this declining channel since middle of last year, but since February and March, it's been trying to break out into a sideways channel. And what we've seen over the past week is it continuing to build that sideways channel, some upward price action. I think we're likely to see this continue over the next one, two, maybe even three weeks. The emerging theme, the emerging theme on equities market is a combination of three or four things. The first thing is that the U.S. economy is continuing to improve, albeit at a very modest level. The second theme is that the uh, U.S. rate hikes will be modest and gradual, that is digestible given the strength of the U.S. economy. Third, uh, underlying factor in that theme is uh, continued stimulus and stabilization of economic growth in China. And of course, in the background, there is always this assumption that uh, world central banks, governments continue to be ultra, to be ultra accommodative in their policies. And over the past week, we have seen events play pretty much to those themes. That broad theme, which is a combination, as I said, of modest improvement in the U.S. economy, got a boost be because of the upward revision of first quarter U.S. GDP, nice little kick along. And as far as rates were concerned, I think uh, the markets are now digesting the, the, the likelihood of a rate hike sometime in July, possibly even June, but it seems to be pretty comfortable about there being maybe two rate hikes this year. Uh, as for China, well, uh, it didn't hurt that the Ministry of Finance in China spoke about it having sufficient capacity to increase leverage in China. That is, the government had increased, had the potential to increase leverage in China to boost or to support economic activity. As for policy accommodation, the G7 meeting in Japan spoke about all possible policy tools to shore up global economic growth and to support the global economy. That's helpful as well. And of course, negative rates, that's the gorilla in the room. Never mind that uh, negative rates is all about borrowing from future growth, borrowing from future spending, borrowing from future investment. That's a danger, but that's a danger for another day. Right now, the markets want to believe we are likely to continue to see equities move upwards, sideways over coming weeks.